Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, we are freaking whited out. Truman Lake. I think I'm in manual focus. I don't know what I'm doing. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is day two on the Missouri trip. And today we're on Truman Lake, and the goal today is to catch my PB. I don't even know what my PB is. I didn't even weigh it last time. 15 and three quarter black crappie is my PB inches, but from up north. From up north. Northern fish. Northern fish. So, two pounders are in this lake, oh, yeah. right? Two yep. pounders. That's what we're going for today, is a two pound fish. So, we'll see if we can get it done. So it might be hard to... Yeah, I know. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. First fish. Didn't even get the hook set, but that one's going in the box. Yep. That's a good eating fish. Basically, we're trying these sections of isolated pieces of brush. This guy came off of... I think we're over the top of it now, but... Nope, it's right there. Oh, it's right there. A very tiny piece of brush right here. It's a very tiny piece of brush. She bit it good, too. So She thumped it. Thump. She is. Dang it, I had that too. I thought it was a branch, I felt a tap. Did you get bit too? Well, before that, oh. the same spot, before I flipped my rod over to the other side, I thought, hmm, that might have been a tap on the way down. Yeah. It's a good eater. Good eater. And I really figured, after I seen how the water level was, yeah. I really figured we'd come to this spot to catch some. <laughs> Seems like See, I all, the one, all the ones you've caught have been an outside edge. Yep. That's how I caught them last time too. And then whenever I drop my jig in, I'll, I always keep my line tight. And I, I go in, I go in super slow. Oh, <laughs> shuck my minner off. I better throw a live minner on, huh? That's, I would. You ever do the slip bobber style with this? Kind of uh, like. So you just use an Aberdeen hook, and then you put the split shot right at the base of the Aberdeen hook, and then the slip bobber, you know, five feet up. No. That's what they do for uh, spawning fish in Illinois on Wren Lake. But that's, you know, they're fishing less than two feet of water. There he is. There you go. There Finally. The black one. Black species. Okay, now I'm in. You good to go now? Now I'm good now. Oh. oh! Did you see it? No, I didn't see it. Was it a good one? No, I didn't. I didn't see the fish either. But the did rod, you? The rod is loaded up good. Yeah. Dang it! I'll flip in there, and catch him. Oh, there you go. Uh, let, let, let down on it. I don't know if I don't think I still have her. Uh, you saw the hit, yeah, though, Dad. I seen the hit. Yep. That's a good white. Go. That's a really good white. There you want to weigh her? Uh, she'll go about a pound. Pound? Yep. Yep, about a pound. Nice one. That was a very good white fish. That hole, we've both been in that hole several different times where we're mm -hmm. to bite at. 
So that's the game. Just keep pounding these little pockets until they finally yep. hit. I'm still not a fan of the game. Slow down because some of this stuff a little bit fast. Mm -hmm. We missed some of this stuff in the middle too. There he is. Good. Yeah, that's you a good go. fish. That's a nice fish. Good fish. Yeah, look how many times have I fished over there? I know. <laughs> well, have we fished that section yet? Oh, yeah, I have. There we go. Another pounder. That's a solid fish. A little bit over, probably. Truman Lake. Probably should turn the big camera on. Of course, then we'll <laughs> stop catching fish, but. Nope. There you go. That's a good fish. Yep, that was a bite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look how well built these fish are. No, they, these are consistently pound plus fish. Yep. Even the black ones. These are all. These are good ones. That that one there, he's over a pound by a little bit. You want to measure or where? Can if you want. Just grab it. Five fish a pound. Pound one. Not a very big. I mean, really. Look at most of the mouth. She's not very big, but man, they're just healthy. Do I need a new bat? Oh, there it is. All right. 15 and wait, wait. Pound? 15. Pound on the dot. Pound on the dot. <laughs> and she ain't very long. What is she, 12 inches long? If that. Not very long at all. Just healthy. Mm hmm. black one. Fat. Fat little black one. Look, Good eater. Look at that. He's got a jacked up tail. Isn't that weird looking? Super jacked up tail. Pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Jeez, oh, that's a big one. That's a big fish. That's a hybrid. You ever seen a hybrid? I have not. I don't think so. So Hold on, let me get the big camera. Crappie. So there we go. I think that's the first hybrid I've seen. Yep, yep. That's, a, that's a hybrid. That's a mix between a black and a white. You can see with the specks on it. And then if you look at it real close, you can see how it has kind of a vertical bar pattern to the specks. So you can tell it's a hybrid. Good fish. Good one. Ozark's got to get it together. Another big one? Oh, that's a big fish. Wow, this is our second pass through here. And there's still some big ones right on the same brush. Same stuff. Is that straight minnow again? Straight minnow on a purple head. There he is. Nice. Bass, Bass. god dang it. About, we're doing a bungee cord. I about jerked it out <laughs> whenever you hit my rod. That's a good one. Oh. Yep, there's Big one. Big one. Nice one there. We fished that hole. Oh shoot. We fished that hole probably what? Six, five times. I still oh, got it. Oh, you still I still got, got it. it. Okay. I'm, I just lost it. Miss him? No. We fished that same spot, what, five, six times already? Yeah. Right next to me. That's the kind of crop you were catching right there. Beautiful fish. What else can I tell you about this place? It takes a while. Patience. What else? Can I say that on video? I probably, I'll blur it out. Patience. <laughs> Patience. There we go. 
Got him too. Double. Oh, it's a bass. I got a little black squeaky. Either though. That's good. Keep it. Hold on. Let me get this bass off the boat. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh no. Oh, my God. How did I not stick you? I, I caught a glimpse of her. Big, little? Good. Good? It was a good one. I think she tapped twice. Hmm. Yeah, it was a nice one. <laughs> Based on the bend, it felt like a nice one. Yeah. But I don't know if she got caught in something or not. Yeah, I seen her flash. That's pro. Is that? Oh, yours is a lot bigger than this. <laughs> okay. I was going to say. There's a very small tap. That's a big fish. That's a big black crappie. Holy smokes. That's a good one. Look at the back on that thing. That is a good one. Turn it to, turn it to the back. Look at the back on that thing. That's a thick crappie. Holy smokes. Yes. As you can see, we've caught some fish today on Truman. Probably, I don't know, we've got about 15 in the live or so. And uh, I wanted Kyler to kind of walk through how we're catching them out here. It's super flooded right now. This is not normal conditions for Truman, correct? Yeah, not normal conditions. Most times we're, I guess guys are jigging uh, dead trees, dead stumps that are either sticking out of the water or sometimes submerged. But right now we're, we're in the flooded bushes. Kyler's gonna tell you how we're actually going about finding these bushes, which bushes are actually producing the fish. So, uh, how are we catching these fish, Kyler? Well, so the pattern so far today has been the green bushes. They don't want the dead ones scratched. I just missed one right there. They haven't been liking the dead ones. Um, they've been on the green stuff. And I'm sure the reason is, you know, there's probably more bugs that get attracted to the green. And so there's, you know, there's just more food around this, this green vegetation. And all we're doing is, is we're pulling up to these and we're looking at them and we're just dipping in every little hole around them, inside of them and on the edges. And whenever you dip down into that hole, you just want to work your bait real, real subtle. You don't want to be yanking and bouncing and being crazy with it. Just drop it in there real nice and easy. A lot of dead sticking has been working really well today, but that's pretty much it. And we're fishing, you know, this stuff that we're fishing right now is normally dry. It's on dry ground. And we're sitting in about six foot of water right now. And so that's, that's, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for stuff in about six to seven foot of water, um, green bushes, and just real slow, working around to each hole, dropping your bait in, and just really be methodical with it to get these bites. Because these fish aren't biting very good today. Mm -hmm. And then we're switching it up between plastics and minnows. Yep. So, if you're gonna tip your jig with a minnow, you wanna run it through his lips. And just, I mean barely through his lips. You don't wanna penetrate his brain. See how it's just barely hooked there, right behind his lips there? That lets him, see how, see, look, at, look at him, see how lively he is? That's what you're looking for. If you, if you go too far back into his brain, he's dead. He ain't no good to you then. That's what you're looking for. Switching up between plastic sand minnows. Earlier today, all we could really get bit on was a straight minnow. Um, here just recently, both of us have been getting bit on a, a plastic. So I'm running a straight plastic right now, which I missed one just a minute ago. I wish I could have caught that for you, but. It's already, it's already recording. Okay. So I might've just caught my, uh, my PB right there. That is a monster white crappie. Let's go put it on the scale real quick here. and. Where is the scale? Buried down into this crap. Dig deep, my friend, dig deep. There we go. What 
do you think? One, two. What we got? One, two, five, one, two. One, two. Three A's. Very nice. That's more more like it though. Right, right kind of body frame. I, I don't know. That might be my biggest PB white crappie. I don't catch a big white crappie up north, so that might be my PB right now. But we're trying for a two pounder. Still looking for a two. Do we have a shot of a two pounder today. Yes? No? Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Well, unfortunately that one pound, two ounce fish ended up being the biggest of the day for me. Uh, we actually didn't catch any bigger fish. But huge thank you to Kyler Beckman for showing me around Truman Lake. I always have fun going down to Missouri and fishing with him, uh, mostly on Lake of the Ozarks, but he was kind enough to take me out on Truman Lake. We didn't get the two-pound fish that we were hoping for, but I will be back there soon. Um, if you're interested in following Kyler Beckman, you can follow him on Instagram and Facebook. He also has a YouTube channel. I encourage you to go check him out. Uh, I had two different rods tied on. Uh, I was using a 10-foot rear seat ACC crappie sticks and an 11 foot mid seat ACC crappie sticks rod. Um, I prefer the 10 footer rear seat. I've just, the balance of the rear seats I've fallen in love with. Yeah, it's kind of goofy the way they're set up with the reel, but the balance is unbelievable on these rear seat rods. So the two reels that I had set up were the Pissafun Honor 2000 size reel and the Pissafun Viper 1000 size reel, both with 10 pound braid. And we were using anywhere between 1 16th ounce to 1 quarter ounce jigs tipped with Jenko plastics. A huge thank you again to Kyler Beckman. Go follow him on those social media accounts. Also, if you got any questions or comments, you can put them in the comment section below. Or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. Appreciate you watching. As always, be sure to click that subscribe button. Click that bell so you get notified every time I post a video. I'll see you next time.